Well, hello everybody and welcome back to The Lynn Life. Well, today I'm going to give you a review on the new Bug Assault Widowmaker 3.5. It just came out this year and I'm anxious to try it out and because I also have the 3.0 that I got just over three years ago and I love that. So, let's get going. My name is Jonathan, and I'm a caregiver for my wife, Lynn, who has a permanent brain injury. Things are a bit different now, but we're doing the best that we can. Join us as we experience the Lynn Life. I just received this box yesterday, the Bug Assault. 3.5 Widowmaker. Some major improvements on this since the 3.0 that I bought over three years ago. I've already taken it out of the box and I've tried it out a few times and I really like it. But I want to go over some of the uh, details that are different from the 3.0. I also want to um, actually we're going to shoot it. I got a little range set up so I can show you the spread and how it works. And one of the things it has that's a lot different than the 3.0 is it has a laser uh, sight on it. And we're going to see how effective that is. And we're also going to compare that to the 3.0 without a laser and see if it really makes a difference. Now some of the major differences between the th uh, 3.0 and the, the Widowmaker 3.5 one, it comes with a strap, around, right? More of an assault rifle type of a strap, I guess. Um, I'm not sure if I like that or not. I'm probably going to take mine off. But for demonstration purposes, here it is. Uh, one thing that I do like quite a bit is this extra handle on the front. And this is how you cock it as well. So if I were to shoot this, let me shoot it first, okay, so if I'm going to cock it, it's pretty stiff, but this gives you a little bit more leverage, so that uh, I think it's easier to handle than the other, the 3.0, which just had a little attachment here. In fact, I got it right here. Justin's with me, my son Justin. Say, so to cock this... You push it that way so and they both shoot about the same and uh, so I'll hand that back to him um, the uh, other thing is that has a removable stock let's see if I can get it off here there, it pops right off and to put it back on it snaps right on there I'm not sure if that's necessary or not but it's kind of cool and uh, the major thing, the major, major thing that this has that the 3.0 doesn't is the laser sight right here. And it is adjustable, which I was surprised to hear. I thought this would be more of a novelty and that wouldn't really work that well, but not true. Um, I've actually tested it and it seems to be pretty accurate right out of the box um, that it has no guarantee that yours will be but that's okay because it came with a little allen wrench and there are two little allen screws here so you can adjust the sight up or down or left to right so that you can sight it in if it is a little bit off i was impressed at that so it's a red laser light and it is a lot easier to shoot a fly without rather than trying to line up the sights so I like that very very much but we're gonna we're gonna try this out in a little bit I've set up some aluminum foil over there like I've done in my other video if you want to see the uh, the other video that I did a little over three years ago about the 3.0 it was very very well received it's well over 100,000 views on that and I get a lot of comments a lot of, a lot of uh, um, bug assault guns have been sold 
as a result of my view. I know that because people have told me. Hey, thanks for the review. I just bought mine. I get it all the time. And for over three years, people have been watching that video. It's even on, I even saw it on the Bug Assault website. Um, if you, I recommend you do get on the Bug Assault website, by the way, which is down below. And uh, they have lots of different products out there. They have uh, different versions of the three here, the 3.0 like this. They still sell this. And they have other versions in different colors. And they have a version with this with the laser. So it's a little bit less expensive than this one. But all of these are pretty much affordable. They aren't going to completely break the bank. And uh, they, uh, in my experience, using that 3.0 over the last three years, it works. It works very well. I use it inside and outside the home. It only uses a pinch of salt. Now, the way you load it is right here. And this is how you load that. And you put in regular salt. And then you close that up. Regular table salt. Now, over the years, people have been asking me like I'm an expert. This is not my company. I'm not getting paid to do these, uh, to endorse this product at all. At least not yet. Bug assault, uh, I'm willing. If you want to reach out to me, <laughs> reach out. My, uh, our email is down below. Or maybe I'll reach out to you. But um, this is, these are well made. I've had mine for over three years. It still works as good now as it ever did. And it only shoots a little pinch of salt. So you can use it inside and it doesn't make a mess. Another thing I want to mention too they mentioned it on their box, and I never really thought about it before, but it's true. When you shoot a fly, it stays relatively intact. It doesn't splatter it. It kind of uh, just kind of drops dead, or it's stunned or something, and then you just pick it up with a tissue. But it doesn't make a mess. So I think the salt sort of penetrates its body, and it just kind of dies but it doesn't splatter it and it doesn't damage furniture or walls you can shoot a fly that is actually on the window and it won't uh, doesn't hurt the window at all it's really handy if it's something is like a fly is in the in a crevice or something you can do that and it uh, you can shoot at it there and it gets it quite well there's also a safety here too so if you press it uh, the trigger won't go off to uh, make it so you can fire again you just press it back on the other side works very good I want to give you a demonstration on how it shoots so I've set up some aluminum foil on my shed and I've drawn some flies with a sharpie on it see now I did this last time three years ago but I actually stuck little uh, little flies on there a little piece of paper, or paper flies, but this time I drew them on there. Um, sorry for my artwork here, but uh, I think they kind of look like flies. So what I'm going to do is, I, what I want to do is show you how the laser works. So we're going to shine a laser directly on these flies here, and we're going to be able to see the spread of the salt, see whether or not it was accurate or not. And then maybe we'll, maybe we'll reserve these three here to use on the 3.0, the older version, using the regular sights and see how well I do with those. Okay, I've set up the target. I'm going to shoot. The one of the disadvantages with the lasers, it reflects back at you on aluminum foil. But that will give me an idea. I can still see. Okay. That's a good spread. That's good. Okay, and we get this one here. Okay. Where is the uh, reflection? There it is. Okay. I can see it good on the shed, but when it gets on the aluminum foil, it gets a little. Okay, and those are all 
bullseyes, I'd say. Okay, now we're going to try the last three with the 3.0. We'll see how that works. Oh, oh, pretty good. I'm about three feet away. All right. Of course, I've been shooting with this for three years, so I'm pretty good at it. But I'll show you the uh, the spread up close. Okay, so here's some of the uh, the spread. You can actually see where the salt hits, and this is one of the lasers using the laser on the new 3.5 Widowmaker and it's very accurate from about three feet I can go back even farther if I go back farther it spreads gonna obviously get a little bit bigger yet and it doesn't it's not quite as effective on flies but it's about three feet is perfect so and then I got uh, the others I'm pretty accurate on all the ones that I've done I think I'm pretty dead on that's using the laser and I have not adjusted it at all so I'm not gonna I think we're pretty good um, moving over to the 3.0 using the regular site um, I'm a little off actually now that I look at it I'm over here and uh, you know pretty good there pretty good down here but the one thing I'm noticing is I think the spread, I think there's, I think the spread on the, um, using the 3.5 is a little more dense. What do you think, Justin? Do you see it? Yeah. Does that look a little bit more dense than over here? Yeah. Hmm. You know, some of the comments I've seen on their website, people are saying it is stronger. It's a little more powerful. Maybe it is. It seems like a little more salt came out hmm so effective because I've been using the 3.0 for a while so uh, that's 3.0 let's get it from an angle maybe you can see that's a 3.0 and here's a 3.5 3.0 3.5 so you be the judge also, on, a, on an afterthought, I know I've had a lot of comments on the video I did on the 3.0 of people asking me if they can use something other than table salt. I don't recommend it, and neither does the manufacturer. In fact, you could uh, av avoid the warranty um, if you uh, should uh, use something else and it becomes damaged. Some of the things that people wanted to know if they could use is like kosher salt, rock salt, Epsom salts, all kinds of different stuff that people say uh, would work better. But uh, I recommend continuing to just use ordinary table salt. So the Bug Assault Widowmaker 3.5. I like it. Um, I like it a lot. It may be a little bit more powerful. I do like it laser sight very very much um, this the removable stock eh, whether I use that or not I don't care in the strap I don't care if I have that or not it's not absolutely necessary but I like everything else oh and the extra grip right here I like that very very much so it's a good product to give you an idea on price this sells for $69.95 and uh, the 3.0, I believe, is $39.95 on their website, but there are discounts available. Uh, I got a 10% discount on this for giving, giving them my uh, email. So, um, and they have other products, too, and they have other versions of these guns as well. I know there's a 3.0 with a laser, and they have other different colors, all kinds of different colors and other things available as well. They also sell hats and t-shirts and all kinds of stuff. Um, they also have another gun that I haven't, uh, I've never uh, reviewed at all at this point. Um, but that, that's actually a CO2 powered gun. So maybe we'll do that in the future. Bug Assault, if you want me to do that, get, get a hold of me. I'd be happy to do a review for you if you send me one. Um, but uh, 
The one that I had was over three years old and it's still working as good as it did when it was brand new and it definitely does the job. So if you're looking for sort of a gimmick, kind of a fun gimmick that will eradicate flies and other bugs for you, um, give it a shot and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. For those of you that are new to this channel, we do a new, I do a new video every week. I am a caregiver for my wife, Lynn, and uh, she's on it quite a bit. And we do other things, not just reviews, but I would appreciate a like and uh, please subscribe. Helps out the channel. And uh, I do a lot of other interesting things as well. If you look around the channel, you'll see. So give it a shot. The Widowmaker 3.5 from Bug Assault. I think that's all I got for today, and we'll see you next time on the Linlock.